Okay, stand up. Stand up. Welcome. Come up to the front of your mat, Ragdoll. So good that we're all here. So I acknowledge you that your body's in this room. Now open your two eyes, focus them on one physical point, and see what you see. Be intentional, creating the physical foundation of your pose. So feet about hip width distance. You go a little wider. Both feet on 12 o'clock. And go ahead, bend your knees a little bit and begin to shift your hips towards the front of the studio. And if you have, it feels two hands on you, and they're not mine, or Billy's, tell me, and we'll get that person right out of the room. <laughs> but we have Billy in the house, and we're so grateful that he's just, he's devoted to serve us. So get rid of the tension in your jaw and the muscles in your face, and create a little more tension in your legs. Straighten your legs more, and... Take your hips towards the front of the studio. Bring your hands to your mat. Step your feet back, down dog. Hey, generate ujjayi breath in and out of your nose. And do just the best you can with your practice this morning. I know there's a few of you, it's your first time in the studio, and some of you, it's your first time in the heat. Lucky you, lucky you. And you might not feel lucky at all. You might feel some regret right now. But I promise you, when you leave this room, you're gonna feel lit up. You might feel a little nauseous first, but you'll pass through it. <laughs> yeah, child's pose. Bring your knees to your mat. Separate your knees about two feet apart. Make your big toes touch each other. Drop your head to the floor and sit back into your heels. Spread out your fingers. And you have the most amazing support on the planet, well, which is the planet, this big rock, Earth. And if you devote yourself to your nature, if you devote yourself to your body, and you let your body just move and breathe, because it needs to do that, you'll find amazing health. And health is not about forcing your body to open up. It's just allowing your body to be in the space and looking at it, studying it, loving it, accepting it just as it is. So if you need child's pose at any point during these 90 minutes, you take it. You don't need permission from me. Don't worry about what your neighbors are doing. They're doing their own practice. There's no body in the world like the body that's on your mat. So, you know, create your unique practice. When you need child's pose, take it. And there's going to be times you want to take child's pose and you just got to push through, and then I'm going to leave that up to you. When to push and when to ease back a bit, huh? Okay, tabletop. Take a huge breath in. Roll over your toes, downward dog. Man, how fortunate we are that we have a hot room with hot people, and a, a cutting edge practice. We're lucky. I mean, some people, they don't have homes today. And thank you for being here this morning and supporting our cause. Thank you so much. A lot of people who are struggling right now appreciate you being here. Bring your feet together. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your upper knee. Take your upper leg to the left. You can bring your left knee to the floor. If you breathe in and out of your nose and create ujjayi breath, the, the consciousness that you create by listening to the sound of your breath will allow you to be intuitive and creative and to empower yourself, to inform yourself how to practice, how not to force, how not to over-muscle. Bring your upper foot to the floor. Lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Bend your upper knee, take your upper leg to the right. Fan your fingers into your mat. Pull your belly up to your spine. Spread your ten toes.
Oh, get rid of the tension in your neck, please. Walk up to the front of your mat. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees and lace your fingers at your lower back. Spread your toes across the floor. Straighten your arms. Underneath your collarbones, take a huge breath in. Fold forward. Begin to straighten your legs little by little. Awakening is a process. Press your big toe mounds into the mat. Straighten your legs little by little. Spin your inner ankles back and feel that all the way through your upper thighs and in internal rotation. Uh, breathe into your shoulders. Muscles need oxygenated blood. And just moving your body systematically through the asana, through the practice, just exposes the muscle tissue. Now you've got to get air in through your nose and out through your nose. Drop your hands to the floor. Ground your feet into the earth. Stand up. Take your arms to the ceiling. Spread your toes across your mat. A little bend in your knees, please. Now keep the bend in your knees. Neutralize your pelvis. Lift the front edge of the pelvis up towards your navel. Now firm up your legs. Press the floor and reach your fingertips one inch more to the ceiling. You can go back a little bit. No strain, though. Give up the strain. And clear seeing. Generous listening. Full in your senses. Full. Bring your hands to your heart center. Three ohms. Uh, Reach your arms to the ceiling. Breathe in. Forward bend. Halfway up. Breathe in. High plank. You do your best. Make it up if you have to. There's no way you can do this wrong, and there's no way you can do this right. There's no such thing. Lift your chin away from your chest. Breathe in. Come forward and halfway down. You can rest your body on your mat. Up dog. You can do it safely. Your practice. If you're conscious, downward dog. Deep rhythmic breathing. If you have to breathe through your mouth right now to get air in and out of your lungs, do that. Sometimes you just step on the mat and you're congested and blocked up. Miracle is coming for you just because you're going to move. Just by moving and breathing, magic happens. Breathe in. Breathe out, press your hands deeper in your mat. Udiana, belly to your spine. Walk to the front edge of your mat. Halfway up, breathe in. Forward bend. Press your feet in the floor, sweep up. Forward fold. Halfway up, forward bend. Ground your feet in the floor, sweep up. Firm up your legs, muscles to bones. Bow forward. Flat back. High plank. Bring your heels towards the front of the studio. And don't be shy. You can bring your knees to the floor. No need to rush anything. You're good at rushing things, and you're good at being busy. Lift your chin away from your chest. Breathe in. Come forward and halfway down. Up dog. Down dog. And then you want to practice just giving your busyness up. Giving everything up but putting your attention on your breathing and the quality of your gaze. That's what you're up to this morning. Just seeing one point clearly, one physical point and commit into the flow of your breathing. It's so simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. Breathe in. Empty out. Pull your belly to your spine. Udiyana Bandha. 
walk or jump forward. Halfway up, forward bend, sweep up, bow forward, finish it, drop your head, finish it, grab your calf muscles and deepen the forward bend. Long spine, breathe in. Chaturanga. I'm going to let you out of this one right now. Okay, upward dog. I do that on purpose to mess with you a little bit. Don't be messable with. Don't be. Just listen. And hold good space for each pose. Downward dog. Yeah, it burns a little bit when you hold poses. Vinyasa is a moving practice, but you have to build borders first. It's like you have to create the banks of a river so the water can flow. Slow down. Put love in each space and fill the space. Breathe in. Breathe out. Uddiyana Bandha. Belly to your spine. Walk or jump forward. Halfway up. Forward bend. Bend your knees. Drop your hips close to your mat. Thunderbolts. Arms straight up. Now, if you relax, keep your eyes steady on one point, you'll feel your inner heat build. And this is at the heart of our practice, building fire. Begin with your feet. Lift your toes off your mat and sit about 80% of your weight in your heels. Now, locate the fronts of your shins. Take the fronts of your shins to the back of the room. And if you can squat about six inches lower towards the floor, do that. If you feel lower back compression, lift the front of your pelvis up towards the navel. Now, belly to your spine. Squeeze your upper arm muscles, the tricep muscles to the bones. And pull in so the upper arm bones moving towards the center line of your body. Uh, take your upper arm bones to the back of the room. Drop another three inches closer to your mat. Breathe in. Forward bend. Finish it. Finish it. Flat back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right side warrior one. Check out your feet. You either have your heels on one line or you move your front foot over to the right side of your mat so you build on rock. Put your front foot on 12 o'clock and make your back toes point to the upper left corner of your mat. Now just calibrate your upper body. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Very good. Now spread your toes across the floor. Firm up your back leg. Send an impulse from your brain to your back quadricep. And squeeze in so you build some fire in your back quadricep muscle. Lift the front of your pelvis up to your navel. Uddiyana. Now contract the front ribs into the center line of your body. Expand your mid-back. Tighten up your triceps. Spread out your fingers. Take a huge breath in. Bring your hands to the floor, low plank. Upward dog. It's just like a big body scan. Super simple. You getting that? I might hold you in poses that you want to run out of. Stop that. Stop it. Get committed to what's right here right now. Downward dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. There's nothing to do. You don't do asana. You be the asana. You be the warrior. The form, you know, I'm looking around the room. The, for, the pose you're in is perfect. You know, it's like the Zen masters say. I forgot what the Zen masters say. <laughs> Spread your fingers. Spread your toes. Now pull your belly to your spine from your core, press your feet into the floor, and rise up to the ceiling with your ten fingertips. Now more air, more air, more nature, more ease. Now more effort in your back leg, muscle to bone, huge breath in, low plank. Upward dog. Down dog. Healthiest, the best thing on the planet is a healthy body. And you want a healthy body? You just move it and let it be free. Give it the space that it can just move and express itself. And this is it.
You're in the perfect space. Breathe in. Breathe out. Jump forward. Halfway up. Forward bend. Thunderbolt. Bow forward. Halfway up. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right side warrior one. Try easy. You don't have to keep up with anyone. Fill the space you're in. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left side warrior one. Savor your experience in warrior one. You don't want to rush out of it. Fill the space. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. You know, the cool thing about being in a community or a yoga class is that you can, you can be together. It takes a little something to give up the comfort of your solo practice and to be with the flock. Put a little effort into that. And it's not keeping up. It's just being one, being together. I mean, this is what our intention is. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk or jump forward. Man, we're all connected. Halfway up. Forward bend. Thunderbolt. We're realizing that, making it real. Bow forward. Long spine. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right side go. And have a big vision. See all around you. See the whole room. Low plank. Wake up your third eye. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left side warrior one. What? what a palpable shift when we're together. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Huge breath in, huge breath out. Uriyana Banda. Walk or jump forward. Flat back, forward bend. Thunderbolt. Bow down. Long spine, chaturanga. Upward dog, down dog, right side, go. Get the air and let the breath do the lifting. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, left side warrior one, spread your toes, firm your back legs, spread your fingers, low plank. Up dog, down dog. Feels great to resurrect the body, to bring the body back to life. Tell you, and your body comes back to life, the space around you comes back to life. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk or jump forward. Flat back. Forward bend. Thunderbolt. Bow forward. Long spine. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right side, warrior one. Press the floor. Feel the rebound. Rise up. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left side warrior one, ground your feet in your mat, rise up with the rebound, stretch your body, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, bring your feet together, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, bend your upper knee, and create your edge, be at your edge, uh, maybe flip over to be at your edge. Drop your head towards the mat. Open your eyes. Ground your foundation. Press the floor. Rise up one, two inches more to the ceiling. High plank. Bring your feet together. Spin your heels to the right. Take your left arm to the sky. It's good to stress out the muscles a little bit, to take the muscles to the threshold. You could bring your right knee to the floor. I don't want you to strain. There's a big difference between empowering yourself and straining and forcing. Low plank, upward dog, downward dog. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. 
Now create your foundation, your relationship with earth. So maybe create more space right to left. You don't want to be wobbly. You'll just carry your wobbliness and your instability forward. Build on rock. Bring your hands to your heart center. Twist to the right. Stay with your hands in a prayer or straighten your arms. About five counts. Move your back heel towards the front of the studio. Ground the four corners of your front foot on the floor. And when you breathe in, create more length in your spine. When you breathe out, twist like you're rinsing out a wet towel. Huge breath in. Twist, empty out. Warrior two. Line up your heels. Side angle pose. Be masterful, like a master builder. Place your feet with intention. Front foot on 12 o'clock. Back toes between 9 and 10 o'clock. Line up your heels. Half bind. Spread your toes across the floor. Notice when your feet are dull, it just blocks off the awakening to your brain. So the signals from the brain to the body get scrambled. When you wake up your feet, wow, there's a clear pathway from the brain to the feet, and everything in between gets lit up. So go ahead, spread your toes more. Keep them wide awake. Take a giant breath in. Low plank. You're doing great. You just stay the course. Up dog. Down dog. Bring your feet together. Lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Bend your upper knee. Stay here or flip over. It's good to go into chaos consciously every day. You know, you step into the body, the feeling of the body. It's like stepping into the wilderness. And you are cultivating a center. Eyes clear. High plank. Bring your feet together. Spin your heels to the left. Take your right arm to the sky. Flex your feet. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Down dog. Step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Lift your back heel away from your mat. If your back heel gets too close to the floor, the front edge of your pelvis dumps forward. You want to keep the pelvis neutral. A little bend in your back knee. Try that. Little bend. Now lift the front of your pelvis up to your navel. Now straighten your back leg. Good. Hands to your heart. Twist to the left. Spread out your toes. Be super conscious. And your feet. Draw your thumb knuckles into your sternum. Rise up away from your front thigh bone. Stay with your hands in a prayer or straighten your arms. Pump the breath in and out of your nose. A few more counts. See how you're wobbly? Yeah, ground your lower hand to the inside of your front foot. Take a big breath in. Twist empty out. Warrior two. Side angle pose. Stability first, relationship with the floor. Half bind. Put your front foot on 12 o'clock. Work with precision, yeah. Get your left butt cheek underneath. Bring it into the center line of your mat. 
Drop your hips closer to the floor, a few inches closer to your mat. Now roll your right lung so it stacks on your left lung. Firmness. Take a big breath in. Low plank. Ah, welcome back to your body. Up dog. Down dog. You have to traverse some intense terrain, especially if you haven't stepped on your mat in a while. But, ha, ah, freedom, freedom. Take a big breath in. Empty out. Walk or jump forward. Halfway up. Forward bend. Utkatasan. Drop your right arm by your side. Bend your elbows and lock up your hands at your mid-back. So we're up in the ante right now. This is a big request. We want to build some heat and some fire. And if you feel resistance, that's perfect. So when you're in the bind, your right elbow will be pointing to the floor. Your left elbow will point up to the ceiling. Now squat about six inches lower. Find your power seat. It's like you're sitting in a kindergarten chair. Go ahead. Sit down low and lift your toes up. Relax your jaw. If someone took a picture of your face, they would think that you're really enjoying your time right now. <laughs> Okay, maybe you're not enjoying it, but it doesn't look like you're in a fight, you know? Relax your face and drop about six inches closer to your mat <coughs> and breathe into your fire. Breathe into it. Pomp it. Eyes open. Ten. <sighs> steady, steady. Yeah, you don't want to drink water right now, but it's okay. It's okay. Stay in it. Five. Four. Three, yeah, do a baby back in here. Two, keep your knees bent, bring your torso flat on your thigh bones and fold forward. Stay with that fire burning in your shoulders. It's healthy, let your head go, relax your neck, relax your jaw. So you wanna keep your bind. Yeah, you definitely wanna keep your bind. When you wanna come out of the pose, that's when the pose begins. And know that. Okay, drop your hands to the floor. Bend your knees, thunderbolt. Prayer twist to the right. Place your feet intentionally, both feet on 12 o'clock. You can stay with your hands in a prayer or straighten your arms. Maybe add a block under your lower hand. Consciously create your pose. Because right now what happens when you're in a space like this and you're being squeezed, you abandon what you need most. And that's you seeing one point clearly, and you listen into the flow of your breathing. Nothing else matters, even if the pose comes apart a little bit. That's the path. What blocks your path is your path. Squat another inch or two closer to the mat. Four, steady. Three. Two. Drop your hands to your mat. Separate your feet hip width distance. Hook your big toes with your index and your middle fingers so the palms face each other. Come halfway up. Breathe in. Forward bend. It's good to sweat deeply, you know, really deep, like a god sweat. Point your elbows out to the sides of the room. Take your shoulders down your back and pull the crown of your head towards the floor. And little by little, you straighten your legs. Get into the deep muscle tissue in the back of your legs. Let go of your toes. Bring your feet together. Grab your strap. Bend your knees. Thunderbolt. This is a moment of truth for you. Bind your shoulders. Left arm by your side. Bend your elbows. Lock up your hands mid-back. This pose, I mean, after 16 years of doing this pose, it brings up a ton of resistance for me. Stay in the fire. Do you see how a lot of you go, you grab your water? And that's, that's fine. The studio just opened. You're new to the style. Okay. Drink water if you need to, but get into the pose as quick as possible. And then 100%, don't hold anything back. Take a peek at your neighbor and see how low they are. Go ahead, do that. Peek at your neighbor and see, and then go lower than them. I tell you not to compete, but sometimes competing can be good if it inspires you to do your best. Here, coach your neighbor. Will you do that? Just say, go lower and I'll go lower. Can you do that? Just, yeah, just be light. Don't fight. Don't fight. Go ahead, sit lower, sit lower. Be at your best. Do your best. Like, really do your best. The best you got. The best you got. Maybe you haven't done this best, the best you've had in years, but today, right now, you're doing that. Okay? About five, steady. Four, go ahead, rainbow. Sit lower, rainbow. Three, keep your knees bent. Two, okay, chest wall to thigh bones. Keep the bind and fold forward. 
that's magic, that heat. And you've got to have the willingness to, to create that heat. You can have good coaches and good, cool studio spaces to practice in, good heat, good humidity. But, man, really, the, the work is with the body that's on your mat. Having the coverage to give everything you got. Because we see it. We just see it in, in, in the world. The universe will take everything you got, and it will. It's going to someday, so you've got to be used to giving it. Drop your hands to the floor. Utkatasana. Prayer twist to the left. I mean, really, where on the planet, besides you know, a few studios in the world that request that you give everything you have to not hold anything back? You're in a big excavation process. Now, use this pose as an excavation tool got to work the tools. The tools won't work on their own. So put your eyes on one point. Let the flow of your breath take over your consciousness. Listen for that. And you stay with your hands in a prayer or straighten your arms. You see how you can just be in a stalemate? Breathe. Keep the, keep the foundation of the pose malleable. Engage your bandhas. Kegel muscles go up. Belly muscles go up. And then chin to your chest. Four. Steady. Steady. Three. Two. Drop your hands to the floor. Separate your feet hip width distance. Gorilla pose. Slide your toes past the crease of your wrists. Come halfway up. Lengthen your spine. Forward bend. Just systematically going through the body and breaking new ground. Breaking with patterns of stuck muscles. So straighten your legs a little bit. Make your legs shake just a little bit. You know, physiological patterns start to break down and psychological patterns break down. Like what's in it for me? That breaks down and then you start op opening up and serving the space around you. Like, man, when I'm on my mat, I know how important it is to breathe and to do my best because it's affecting every person around me. Not even on my mat. I mean, the people I spend time with, my family, my immediate community. Man, when I'm at my best, it's the best teaching I can actually offer. Slide your hands out from underneath your feet. Bring your feet together. Ground your feet into the earth. Stand up. Sweep your arms above you. Breathe in. Eagle pose. Bend your knees. Wrap your right leg over your left leg. Wrap your right arm under your left arm. And to be at your best, you've got to enroll the body as a whole. Five. Four. Eyes focused on one point. Three. Ears open to the flow of your breath. Two. Sweep up. Eagle pose. Left side. Every limb. That includes your, your toes, your fingers, wide awake. Pull into the center line of your body. Drop your hips a few inches closer to your mat. Breathe out. Sweep up. Right side eagle pose. It's cumulative, the effect of focus, focusing your eyes on one point. It's just not one physical point outside the body, you see. You begin to have some reflection in your practice. The third eye awakening awakens, and the whole body's experience from the skin into the muscle. And now squeeze your thigh bones together. Breathe out. Sweep up. Left side eagle pose. Not too tight and not too loose. The art of balance. Balanced action. Breathe out. Sweep up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Clear it out. Breathe in. Open your mouth. And standing leg raise. Balanced on your left leg. Bring your right knee up to the level of your waist. Stay here with your right hand at your knee and your left hand at your hip or straighten your right leg out in front of you. 
One, two, three, four. Take your upper leg to the right, gaze to the left. One, keep your eyes steady and focused. Two, three, four. Bring your upper leg back to center. Take your arms above you, breathe them. Airplane. Ground the center of your lower heel into your mat. Firm up your arms. Bring your hands to your heart center. Half moon. Put a block underneath your lower hand. About 10 inches or 12 inches in front of your bottom baby toe. You keep your right hand at your hip or take your right arm to the sky. Open it up. And then I just forward, straight forward. One. Yeah, that's it. Stay here or bend your upper knee. Reach back with your upper hand and grab your upper ankle. Ground the big toe mound and your bottom foot in the mat. Now firm up your lower leg. Pull your belly to your spine. Look over your upper shoulder and kick. Four. Belly to your spine. Look over your upper shoulder and kick more. Three. Two. Ragdoll. Drop your hands to your mat. Bring your feet together. Press your feet in the floor. Stand up. Take your arms to the ceiling. Breathe them. Bring your hands to your heart center. Clear it out. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Side, uh, standing leg raise, left side. Bring your right hand to your hip. Best thing in the world to sweat like this. Nothing like it. One, two, three, four. Bring your upper leg to the left, gaze to the right. Bring your upper leg to center. Take your arms to the ceiling. Breathe in. Airplane pose. Come up in front of your mat. In front of your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Half moon. There's this light you can catch. It's energy you can receive. You got to give though. Press the lower foot. Press your lower foot in your mat. And feel it as you press down, there's a rebound. You can catch and spread throughout your bones. Stay here or bend your upper knee. Half bow. Press your big toe mound and your lower foot in your mat. Now firm up your lower leg. Five. Four. Tilt the front edge of your pelvis to the navel. Belly to your spine. Three. Now kick your upper shin. Look over your left shoulder. Two. Kick more. Raggedy in. Drop your hands to your mat. Bring your feet together. Press your feet in the earth. Stand up. Take your arms to the ceiling. Breathe in. Bring your hands to your heart center. Clear it out. Breathe in. Open your mouth. <sighs> Tree pose. Balance on your left leg. Bring your right foot to your left inner thigh. Bring your hands to your heart center. And you put your gaze practice in. You put your ujjayi practice in. And you move into a timeless space, a space that you can keep coming back to and remembering. Remembering, really, what's most important to you. You'll forget if your energy stays in the neck up, and this is how you've been trained, just to have your energy flowing between your ears. And then the body becomes dull. Man, you ground your attention back into the body, and it's like putting a tree that's been uprooted back into the soil. Take your arms to the ceiling. 
Spread your fingers. Udi on the belly to your spine. Ground your lower foot in your mat. Reach up with your 10 fingertips. Bring your hands to your heart center. Upper foot to the floor. Tree pose, left leg. Be patient. Keep your hands at your heart center. Take your arms to the ceiling. Pull into the midline of your body. Right thigh, press it into your left foot. Pull your belly to your spine. Take your upper arm bones to the back of the room. Breathe in. Bring your hands to your heart center. Drop your upper foot to the floor. <clears throat> Come up to the front of your mat. Press your feet into the earth. Reach your arms to the ceiling. Breathe in. Forward bend. Halfway up. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right side, warrior one. Warrior two. Line up your heels. Straighten your legs. Pause for a moment. Zipper up your legs and your arms so encase the upper arm bones and your thigh bones with muscle. Now hinge forward, Trikonasana. Go longer, front to back. Yeah. Ground the center of each heel in your mat. Pull your belly to your spine. Now from your core, ground the centers of your heels into the floor. And stretch your arms. Stretch them. So feel like your fingers are being pulled out of your palms. Huge breath in. Empty out. Stand up. Bring your hands to your hips. Point your right toes to the left side of the room. Keep your hands at your hips. Press your feet in your mat. Do a back bend. Breathe them. Forward fold. Bring your hands to the mat. Okay, and just cool down a little bit. Flip your fingertips to the wall you're gazing towards. It takes a little time to get used to the heat, especially if you're newer to the heat. It takes about 10 practices before you don't think it's a problem, you know? Sweating this deeply. You want to ring out completely. Press your outer ankles towards the floor. And zipper up your legs. Lift your sitting bones to the ceiling. Press your feet deeper into your mat. Breathe in. Empty out. Walk your hands in front of you. Press your feet in the floor. Stand up. Face the front of the studio. Step your back foot halfway up your mat. Clasp your hands at your lower back. Use a strap. Straps are awesome. If you've got tight shoulders, just lace your fingers inside the strap. Breathe in. Forward bend. You can create more space front to back and or right to left. Build on rock. Be super conscious of your feet. Lengthen your spine towards the front of the studio. Twist to the right. Twisting triangle. Put a block under your left hand. Bring your right hand to your hip. So, I mean, guys, take your, make your back toes point more towards 9 or 10 o'clock. Do the classical pose, yeah? Five. Four. Three. Two. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Left side, warrior one, warrior two. Triangle pose. From your solar, your solar plexus, right? below your navel. Press the floor and make your 10 fingers longer. 
Huge breath in. Empty out. Stand up. Bring your hands to your hips. Point your left toes to the right side of the room. Clasp your hands at your lower back. And point your toes in towards each other a little bit. Breathe in. Forward bend. Spread out your toes. Inner ankles back. Outer ankles towards your mat. Now lift your quadriceps up under the thigh bones. Lean forward. It's pretty simple poses. Really, they're not contortions. Simple poses you can do every single day. Just waking up every department in the body. And then the body begins to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with itself. Stand up. It's the beginning of health. It's a good conversation. Step your back foot up. Face the front of the room. Take a big breath in. Fold forward. Just relating to each part of your body. The baby toes, fourth toes. Back toes. Make a point towards three. Three or two o'clock. Twisting triangle. Five. Four. Three. Two. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Down dog. High plank, lower to your mat, four, three, two, one. What good training, the training of just being in the fire, being ready for transformation. Just rest on your mat, love the floor. One of the most valuable, one of the most valuable practices that you can have is learning how to pick yourself up after you fall, learning how to begin again, learning how to resurrect. Bring your forehead or chin to your mat. Clasp your hands at your lower back. Squeeze your arms and your legs straight. Breathe out. Inhale, press your pelvis down and lift your collarbones and thigh bones up. Pull your legs into the center line of your body. Lift your collarbones away from the floor. About five more counts. Can you lift your arms away from the back body? Inner thigh bones go up to the ceiling. And come back to the floor. Clasp your hands at the back of your head. Or you can take cactus arms or do the pose you were just in if you have back injuries. Firm up your legs, breathe out, inhale, press down and come up. You just keep moving. It doesn't have to be pretty. You just keep the forward movement and you get in the pose and then just rest in the pose. Rest and relax. Give up the excess effort. Give up straining. More effort in your legs, tighter legs. Three, two, come back to the mat. Bow pose, bend your knees, reach back, grab the tops of your feet or your shins. Maybe you do one leg at a time. Breathe out. Inhale, press your shins to the back of the room and go slow, go slow. Flex your feet. Five, four, three, Two, come back to the floor. Hey, bow pose, one more. The heart's a muscle, it's a tough muscle. You gotta give it some space so it can, it can breathe, it can expand and contract. So go ahead, get into the pose. 
and we'll hold it a little longer. So I, I, I request that you stay in the pose. And if you have to ease back, that's fine. You can just let the, the shape of the pose change a little bit. You can drop your chest towards your mat, but stay in it. Let your fingers burn. Let your forearms burn. 10, steady. Five, press the pelvis into the floor. Lift your collarbones up. Three, front of your thigh bones up. Two, come back to the mat. Upward dog. Down dog. Billy. Bring your knees to your mat, camel pose. Stand up on your knees. Knees about hip width distance. You can keep your hands at your hips. <coughs> drop your tailbone towards the floor. Lift the front of your pelvis to your navel. And you squeeze your elbows together and you can drop your head back. If you want to, you can reach back and grab your heels. Five. Four. Ground your foundation in your mat. Three. Two, down dog. Camel pose. Go ahead, flow into it. Relax here. Steady, steady. Bring your thoracic spine up into the chest. Press into my hands. Press in, press in more, more, more. Down dog. Bridge pose. You can bring your knees to your mat, cross your ankles, lay on your back. All right, we're getting through this together. It's good. It's good. Lift your hips off the mat. Clasp your hands at your lower back. It's never easy. It's never easy. It's never easy. Five. Four. Tapping into potential, it's a challenge. Three. Two. Bring your bum to your mat. Okay. Bridge pose again, or wheel pose. Reset your feet like you're going to do bridge. Bring your hands to the floor, outside your shoulders, but in line with your ears for wheel. Okay, so you choose. Ready? Pull your belly towards your spine. Press the floor and come on up. You can come up uh, to your head for the first one. Five. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. Bring your chin to your chest, come back to your mat. You injured? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How'd your neighbor do on that one? They do pretty good? Did they inspire you at all? They still? Okay. All right. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ready for this? Give it a shot. You're tough. Tough, tough man. Ready? <laughs> You're in a freaking good spot right now. This is good space. Ready? Set. And press the floor. Come up. The first three, uh, they, you got to break down the muscle tissue a little bit. It's like kind of unzippering the body. It's like been in a body suit. Bring your chin to your chest. Come back to the floor. Whoo! Massachusetts ain't that bad, huh? To live in? It's a good state. All right. Was that two or three? <laughs> okay. This, you know, this is a devo uh, donation class. Did you know that? You didn't know that? For, the, um, for Hurricane Harvey, for the pets in the Hurricane Harvey that are stuck right now. Holy moly. There's people right now in water fucking struggling, and you're not. Okay? So let's do this. Ready? Set and press the floor. Come up. Give what you got. 
Give what you got. Five, four, three, two. Come on down. How many more do we have to do? How many more? Two? One? Really? Oh, I thought Bostonians were tough. Like, <laughs> tough. Like, tough. Don't you guys, don't we have shirts like Boston Strong? Didn't that happen here? Okay, can we come together? We'll do three more. Okay, three more. Ready? Don't look so enthused. Come on. Ready? Set and go. Five, four, three, two. Come down, Billy. Okay, ready? Go up. Get this one. Get this one. That's good for your heart rate. Go ahead. Five, four, three, yeah, with a strap maybe, two, and come down. Yeah, so it'll help your shoulders. Okay. Was that it? Oh, we got one more? One more? Okay, everything you got. Like, really, really, really. Like, when is the last time, can you just go into your brain, like, really ask yourself, when was the last time you gave this? It may have been yesterday. It may have been just a moment ago, but one more, right? One more deep, deep giving. And you know you got it. You know you got it, so you got to give it. Don't hold back now. Ready? Set and go. Ten. Steady. Make your legs burn. And take it out of your lower back. Belly to your spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. Bring your chin to your chest. Come back to your mat. Good work. Close your eyes and bring the bottoms of your feet together. Rest. Straighten your legs to the front of the studio. Take your arms to the back of the studio. Take a big breath in. Breathe out. Another one, huge breath in. Huge breath out. Giant breath in, empty it out, squeeze your knees in your body. Flex your feet. Dead bug. Pull your feet, your shins, and your knees towards the floor. Keep the length of your spine on your mat. Focus your eyes on one point. Just okay, let go of your feet. Straighten your legs vertically. Clasp your hands at the back of your head. Uh, and bring your left foot flat on the mat. Left foot flat. If you want more intensity, you can make your left leg hover about an inch off the floor. Firm up both legs if they're straight. Okay, lift your shoulder blades off your mat. Breathe in and go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Ready? And then go up. Go up for fifty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three nose. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, breathe, two, one, legs up, sit on your forearms or take your arms by your side. Drop your legs one third towards your mat. Lift your head and shoulder blades off your mat, please. Lift up. Come on, lift up, and then drop your legs another third towards the ground. Make your legs hover two inches from the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs up. Bring your knees into your body. Go for 100 bicycles. Go ahead. So straight in your legs, straight, straight, yeah. Elbow to opposite knee, that's it, okay. 70, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 90, 10. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up, sit on your forearms or arms by your side. Drop your legs one third towards the ground. Another third towards the ground. Two inches from the floor, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up, bring your knees in your body. Twist, take your knees to the left and your chin to the right. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Bring your knees up to center and over to the right. Bring your chin to your left shoulder. Close your eyes. Bring your knees back to center. Grab underneath your thighs. Rock and roll, head to heels. Cross your ankles, roll over your ankles, down dog. Half pigeon, right side. You can put a block under your right hip. You can lay on your back. Lay on your back, We're almost done. You did great, lay on your back. <clears throat> Take your attention off thoughts and put your attention on the flow of your breathing. <clears throat> give up the tension in your neck, give up the tension in your jaw. And be mindful that you're supporting your right hip with a block. Or if your hip's on the floor, that's good, but you don't want your right hip floating in the air. Flex your right foot. Flex the front foot. And deep rhythmic breathing. It's 
Let's close your eyes. Just let the body cool down. Now that your body's still, it's not going to produce as much heat or generate as much heat. Tell you the fire, the heat. Yeah, it's the, it's the one thing that brought me to my knees when I came into the practice, when I started the practice. And the, being around all the people, that's great. I mean, you get so much support with the community, especially the community of Baptiste, the Baptiste community. The movements, you know, the poses we do, they're simple, they're accessible to everybody. It's, it's the heat. It really starts to um, move us. First, we run from it, and then we realize we want to start running towards it. We want to start moving towards it. Well, 10 more counts. Where are you right now? Where are you? Why don't you bring your forehead down so you don't look to the side? Yeah. Hey, downward dog. Half pigeon, left side. You're doing great. Just lay on your back, put a block on it. It'll cool, it'll cool down a little more that way, right? Especially when the practice gets messy and it feels like you've been turned inside out and the rug got swept out from under your feet. That's some of the best training that you have. You want that quality of training in your life. It really challenges you and brings you to your knees. Flex your upper foot. You put your front knee at risk. Flex that. Flex it. Don't let it go dull. There you go. Generate deep breathing. Come on, breathe in through the nose fully and then breathe out fully. And complete. Five more counts. No texting. You can't text in class. Stop that. What are you? What are you? 
You guys, will you do me a favor? <laughs> will you leave your cell phones um, out of the class? It's really, really important. You can't text while you're in Pigeon. Those are, um, <laughs> those are, those are like global yoga rules. Uh, double pigeon. Man, this is sacred space. Sacred space. <coughs> you know, when you're in this room and you're in this space, it's your practice is to devote to the space, for, not for just you, it's for everybody else. You know, when you're not at your best, it gives people the idea of mediocrity. And then they take that on, and all it takes is one person to start a revolution. What's that? Is that why you hide back here so you can, it's okay, I don't care. It's just, you know, fold forward, go ahead, fold into it. Man, we're creating this space right now, all of us. It's like, this is like a little baby. The studio, and we're the, um, we're the village, and we're creating this space right now for each other. And we're honoring, I mean, there's a lot going on in the world, a lot. A lot of suffering, there's a lot of fear moving through people, and man, when we, we come into this room and these two doors close, I mean, we bring our best. We leave everything else out. The only thing we take in, what's essential? Our mat, our blocks, our straps. And a lot of the times we leave out, we don't take in the most important thing. Is our intention to create what we really want for ourselves and each other. And we'll just practice on default. We'll just keep practicing the way we've been practicing. Unless we have a prod. You know, and just having an awareness around a class like um, Hurricane Harvey where people are suffering right now. And we come and we bring a different intention to create a little more community with each other. To create a little more love and intention in our own lives. Sit up, please, and switch sides. <coughs> uh, be mindful that you, when you look down at your left ankle, Cross it past your right thigh bone. You can put a block underneath your right knee if you need to do that. But your intention is to stack your shins on one another. Not your knees. Stack your shins. There you go. Let me put that there. Can you get out that block? Yeah. Just see. We'll see what happens. It's okay. Yeah. How's that? Yeah? Yeah, that's perfect. Stay with it. Flex. Where are you? Come on. Come into your body. Come in. Close your eyes. Fold from the crease of your hips. <coughs> Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, one more huge in breath, empty it out, okay, sit up, straighten your legs in front of you, seated forward bend, begin with your knees bent, bring your torso flat on your thigh bones, grab under your feet, grab under your ankles or your shins, whatever you choose, <coughs> lengthen your spine, breathe in. Forward bend.
Drop your head to your knees or your shins. Legs together. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees more. There you go. That's it. Inverted tabletop. <coughs> Bring your hands behind you about 12 inches. Press your hands and your feet in your mat. Lift up. Make your fingers go to the side so you don't strain your wrists. Go to the side so you don't strain your wrists. Yeah. Press your hands and your feet down into the earth. Lift up. Bring your bum to the floor. Scoot up to the front of your mat. Lay on your back. Put a block underneath your butt. Straighten your legs vertically. Take a good look at your feet. Spend time with your feet. You know, when you become fully aware of your body, one of the, the beginning, the beginning of becoming fully awake to your body, it usually starts being more conscious of your feet. Experiencing your feet as a community, creating separateness for each toe, but you, you see that the toes aren't separate. You wiggle one toe and there's a reaction in the other toes. And you become awake to your feet and through, especially Baptiste Power Yo, you become awake to the body as a whole. And not only are you awake to the body globally, but your consciousness begins to wake up to what's possible for yourself through other people. Developing a bigger community, um, developing a deeper relationship with your family and your friends, your community, the people around you. Even when you come into a class, you know, you get close, you, you make friends with the people around you. One of the beautiful attributes of health is you feel more. There's deep healing and feeling. You can bring your knees to your forehead or your feet to the floor for plow. If your feet touch the floor, curl your toes under and lace your fingers at your lower back and work your arms into the floor like you do in bridge. <coughs> Baby finger, edge of the forearm down. Lift your sitting bones to the ceiling. You'd stay in plow or bring your knees by your ears, curl into a little ball. Good work. Take your blocks out of the way. Bring your bum to the mat. Squeeze your knees into your body. Straighten your left leg down on the floor. Take your right knee to the left side of your body. Bring your chin to your right shoulder. Close your eyes. One of my favorite parts of the, of the practice is Shavasana. I think it's every, one of everybody's favorite pose. One of them. <laughs> Man, it's just a point to, to regroup, to pull yourself back together again. Before you go into the world, I always tell my students, you know, you, you stay through the whole class and you practice Shavasana. You practice being still and staying alert. <coughs> a lot's happened in the last 90 minutes to your physical body and, and you just got to stop, let your body regroup. I tell you, when you go out into the world after a practice like this, you know, hearing about life, you know, hearing about, about suffering, it's not, a, it's not a head trip anymore. You actually feel it in your body. And it actually moves you into action, into service. Whatever it is, it too. Whether it's just saying sorry or forgiving somebody. You don't have to be like this huge revolutionary. Just unto yourself. You know, and the people around you. And then you'll see it, it starts extending into widening circles. Come back to center. Bring your knees in your body. Straighten your right leg down on your mat. 
Take your left knee to the right side of your body. Bring your chin to your left shoulder. Make your way back to the center. Bring your knees into your body. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Drop your knees out to the side. Close your eyes. If you'd like to straighten your legs and let your feet flop out to the side, feel free to do that. Feel the floor, feel the floor below you. And get some cool fresh air coming into the room. So just be be in the body that's on your mat. If you want to straighten your legs and let your feet flop out to the side, you can do that. But you want your arms below the level of your heart. You can have one hand on your heart center, one hand on your center of your belly. Or you just take your arms by your side with the palms open. And clear the space around you so you know, like arm is not resting on a strap or you don't have a block touching your foot. Clear your space. You know, there's deep, you tap into some potential just by moving your body around. And then being still, there's a whole other dimension you can tap into by being still. So being still physically is first, and then your second practice in this pose is to listen generously outside of your skin, outside of your head. So you can, you can actually hear the air coming into the room. The fan's kind of quiet. But you can hear it. And, um, you can actually hear your breathing. You don't want to have any sound in your breath anymore, so give that up. It doesn't even feel like there's any breathing happening at all. The body's breathing, but there's no voluntary breath. So just rest and do nothing. Do nothing. Listen. Listen allows you to be. Practice non-doing, listening. And just know it's a game. It's a game. Listening, meditating is a game. You'll forget and you'll start having this monologue with yourself and then you can witness that happening. And you can give it up and free up your energy from thinking about the past or hoping about something tomorrow and just be right here. It's, it takes practice. Take a huge breath in. Open your mouth. <sighs> Be still.
Take a breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Roll over onto your right side. Keep your eyes closed, sit up. Bring your hands into a prayer. Press your thumb knuckles in your sternum, sit up straight. Three ohms. to your forehead center. Breathe in. Together we say namaste. <clears throat> Peace and love. Have a great day, you guys. Good work. Good work. Thank you to Billy. Billy, thank you so much. <clears throat> awesome work. Really good, you guys. Thank you for being here. And uh, make sure you get a good gallon of water in your body today. Some fruit. Fruit's the best thing in the world to hydrate. So get some fruit. Some fruit you love. Find fruit you love and then go buy it and eat it. Will you? And um, anything, oh, so there's a, actually a little, uh, Desta made a little box for donations for the pets of uh, Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, a little bit, anything will do. We'd appreciate it a ton. So do that. And um, if you guys have any questions, ask me. Take care. Don't slip when you're coming up here. Spray your blocks down. Put it on that metal, um, whatever that is, the metal thing. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, you guys. Have a good day.